my my kind of feeling and, and, and feedback of, of Guardiola and League was a bunch of people who really wanted to play cricket together didn't care where it was, how it was, what the facilities were like, whether the grass was cut or not cut, whether the pitch was prepared or not, we will find a way of playing because we really want to play and we want to enjoy it and we just we want to spend a sun, Sunday Sunday day together. My next door neighbour at the time was called Harish Rana and he um, and he used to always knock on my door and say, do you want to go play cricket in the street? So we'd form a team, you know, we'd knock on everybody's doors and get probably get five or six people out. Uh, somebody would bring a bat or everybody would bring their own bat. Um, we'd get a couple of tennis balls and initially started off just with tennis, just playing with tennis balls and stuff like that. And then when, when that became a little bit easy, we started putting tape on the side of the balls. It's a kind of traditional Asian way of playing cricket. We used to use a gentleman's gate as our wickets. Uh, and it turned out that this gentleman was a chairman of a cricket club. He used to see us play in the street every day, hit balls into his garden, hit his window, hit his cars. Um, one day came out and it, you know, didn't tell us off anything. He said, if, you want to, if you're interested in playing some cricket, you know, I'm a chairman of a cricket club, you fancy coming down. Parents were a bit reluctant at the time, they didn't know this gentleman, but kind of put a bit of trust in him and he took us down to the cricket, the cricket field down at Windhill and we got involved in nets and you know, within a matter of a few, a few weeks we were, we were playing competitive cricket. Played cricket for Bradford Grammar School, got noticed, did really well. Went to Yorkshire school trials, didn't get in. There was another cricket coach at the time, he's passed away now. He put me through to England school trials, which, which is a dramatic jump because you've, not, you've gone past Yorkshire school trials now. And they selected me to play for them. The back of that got picked in Yorkshire schools from these trials. And I, remember, I remember one of the next sessions I went to, I bowled particularly well. I just remember getting a lot, a lot of wickets. Bowling a little bit erratically, but getting a lot of wickets. Um, to which my bowling coach at the time, who ended up being my first team Yorkshire bowling coach, Steve Olden, said, um, what would you say if we were to offer you a contract? It was at a time where Imran Khan came to Bradford University and he put a statement out there that, in, in broad terms, Yorkshire were racist, um, off the back of not many Asians playing for them. You know, the, the thought crosses your mind, is it because I'm Asian? You know, is it because of what's been said three, four weeks ago in the papers? It was mixed emotions because you're thinking, well, I know that my dad wants me to study and work hard and he's put all this time and effort into me going to school. You know, you, you know, you know how much your uniforms cost, you know how much your education's cost, you know your dad's working long hours to put you through this education and are you really going to just drop all that to pursue a cricketing career? Growing up, obviously, from Pakistani origin and, and uh, my first one day match I went to go watch was uh, England versus Pakistan at uh, Headingley and it was the game where I think Waka made a bit of a comeback and took seven wickets and he was one who you'd look up to, beautiful bowler, um, you know the reverse swing, this is what this is what our kind of Pakistani nation were known for. Um, so he'd play, so I'd, I'd love watching him and the likes of Wazim Akram, um, just purely for the skill level. And, and just I was so unique, I was such a fast arm, you know, you, these, these are the stuff that you need to be different. And then the likes of Shoa Bakta, you know, fastest bowler in the world, aggressive, moody, sometimes would bowl great, sometimes would bowl poorly, trademark Pakistani bowler in a way. So if any difficulties arose, they were only in, you know, fasting, you know, the religious festivals, etc. Uh, fasting was difficult. You know, being a professional sportsman, we have two eids a year. Why do you have two eids a year, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Um, why do you eat halal food? You know, it seems, it seems the same. Why are you not eating pork? Why don't you drink? Um, and you just got to educate them. So yeah, I've gone down to Loughborough, been to the state-of-the-art facility, thinking this is where elite people are made. This is where the big boys come. And I'm, I'm following their footsteps. You know, you walk through them doors and you, you look left, and there's. KP on the wall, you look right, there's Collingwood, you look left, there's Strauss, there's Harmison, there's Flintoff, there's, you know, you're thinking, this is where they all come from, is it? This is where they're training. And you see them there, you know, some of them are training there, and you're thinking, this is it, this is the big boys, at cool, at calm, it's all good. And I get a call from England selector Jeff Miller. How you doing, I said, well, you all right? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I've heard of the name, never met the guy. I'm all right, I'm good. Mate, you had a fantastic tour. We wanted to be on the main England squad. I'm thinking this, this is getting better and better. Where is it? Is this? Where's the cameras? This is different. And that brings a tear to my eye now thinking about it because it was, it was nice. I went to Dubai, went to Bangladesh, went to T20 World Cup, went to the Ashes, played Bangladesh here, made my debut, made my de in all formats. I was 650th player to ever rep represent England in Test match. 
if, if, so, if somebody meets me and I said to them, I'm a, I'm a British born Muslim, born and bred in Yorkshire, raised in Bradford, I want them to think, you know what? Solid bloke, he's a great, he's a, he's a great lad, great asset, we love his attitude. And you know what, if, if that's the only agent I ever see, then they're a nice bunch of people, them great people. It's bigger than just me. You know, Alhamdulillah, thankfully, with the will of God, my name will always be there. But there'll be plenty more coming through and there are at the moment. And it's about building on it and building on it and building on it and trying not to bring that down in any way. I try to take it back to its barest bones in the fact that my dad came from Pakistan and studied accountancy and educated his children and, you know, came with nothing and, and, and has done all this for us. To leave his family back home, to leave all his comforts and to come and start afresh, no mean feat, no mean feat. And I genuinely feel that, I mean, it'd be difficult for me to do that in today's day and age. For anybody to pick up and leave their family and to everything they know and to go and, and to set up sticks. Um, and he's done that. So, I mean, I owe it to him and my family to do that.